Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a pivotal moment in World War II history, the capture of Pegasus Bridge on D-Day. This operation was crucial to the success of the Allied invasion of Normandy. We are at the present-day Pegasus Bridge, ready to take you on this historical journey. If you cycle around 10 kilometers in this direction you will reach Kong, or heading 5 kilometers the other way will take you to Sword Beach one of the D-Day landing beaches. Near Pegasus Bridge and across the D-Day landing sites, you'll find World War II era tanks and military hardwares like these on display, offering a tangible connection to the fierce battles fought here. These tanks and military vehicles standing as silent sentinels, remind us of the armored might that played a crucial role in the Allied victory. In the early hours of June 6, 1944, the Allies launched Operation Overlord, the largest amphibious invasion in history. A critical objective was to secure to key bridges over the Kong Canal and the River Orna. These were later named Pegasus Bridge and Horsa Bridge, Pegasus Bridge, located near the town of Benouville in Normandy, was vital because it provided a route for the Allied forces to advance from the beaches and prevent German counterattacks. Controlling this bridge meant controlling the flow of reinforcements and supplies. The task of capturing Pegasus Bridge was assigned to the British 6th Airborne Division. In the early hours of D-Day, a small group of glider-borne troops, led by Major John Howard, took off from England. Their mission, to seize the bridge intact and hold it until relieved. In a feat of incredible precision, the gliders landed just meters from the bridge. The element of surprise was complete. Despite a fierce initial resistance, the British troops quickly overwhelmed the German defenders. By 016 hours on June 6, the bridge was in Allied hands. The capture of Pegasus Bridge prevented German forces from launching a counterattack against the eastern flank of the landings on Sword Beach. This was crucial for the success of the entire D-Day operation. The capture of Pegasus Bridge was one of the first successful actions of D-Day and set the tone for the rest of the invasion. It demonstrated the effectiveness of airborne operations and the bravery of the troops involved. Today, Pegasus Bridge stands as a symbol of courage and strategy. The Pegasus Bridge Museum on the other side of the bridge commemorates the bravery of the men who fought there and the significance of their achievement. The present-day Pegasus Bridge was installed in 1994. It is a bigger, wider and modern replica of the original Pegasus Bridge from World War II period. The original bridge, built in 1934, is now a war memorial and is the centerpiece of the Memorial Pegasus Museum. Now, we are on the other side of the bridge. If you walk a couple of minutes to the left of the bridge, you will start seeing the original Pegasus Bridge, carefully preserved and displayed for visitors. Apart from the nicely preserved Pegasus Bridge and military tanks, you will be find detailed exhibits, including original artifacts, uniforms, and personal stories from the soldiers who fought here.
The museum also features a replica horse glider, giving a sense of the daring airborne assault. So that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, we will show you how the Pegasus Bridge opens to allow ships to pass through the Calm Canal. So please, subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and share. Thanks for watching, bye!